YouTube, Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. How did you like my little double step plus clap, huh? If you think you have seen the cringy intros here on the YouTube channel, boy, you haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> All right, I'm just messy. Anyways, today, <laughs> today is July. There's like people on top of the hill there looking at me like I'm some kind of a uh, I have some kind of disabilities here, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, today is July 12, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 108 of this year. And let me tell you folks, summer is in full effect here in Philadelphia. It is a whooping 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know, I know a bunch of you will come here in the comment section and be like, yeah, it is 101 in Arizona. Well, whatever, you know, heat is also relative, right? 85 degrees for me is like hot. It is hot here, okay? And I decided to come out today to do a little bit of uh, multi-species fishing. Now, the thing is, even though it is super hot, yesterday we actually had a very heavy period of rain. So everything around me is like high and uh, Nesquik style. You know what I'm saying? It's like chocolate milk. So we got, I'm at the spillway right now and we got water that is flowing very, very fast, as you guys can see, and the water is higher than usual, you guys know what is going to be the game plan for today, right? We're going to hit pretty much the deep pools and the slow pools to see how many different species of fish we can actually pull from over here. I got some leftover butter worms. I also brought my gold minnows. I got an arsenal of lures. And I mean, sometimes you do find one or two leftover stock trout over here if i do catch one i am going to be taking that that trout for dinner for my parents so a lot of possibilities right a lot of things to do over here let me get my stuff set up i got two ultra lights with me and let's get the fishing started for today there is quite a lot of current out here when there is some current i always put a lot of faith on my thomas right uh, inline spinner the ep series nickel gold so i'm gonna get started with this gotta give a few casts out there towards the end of the current right towards the slow pool to see if we can actually catch something a little bit bigger i think those are fish i think a little bit more oh yeah that was fish that's fish on dude that's fish on that's first fish of the day coming up here what we got and the first two species on the inline spinner is a white perch man check it out wow a very stunted white perch i would like to emphasize the morone americana holy cow dude it really really wanted that spinner this dude barely has meat i can't take this for my parents to eat you know i have to say i kind of feel bad a little bit about this fish this fish is so stunted it has barely any meat on it poor white perch down there probably has a lot of competition for food in this place right it is one little spillway filled with different species of fish and different fish itself so definitely not easy for this guy to go down there and try to get something to eat let me release this guy uh, nicely over here so you guys can see go away. This is our first fish of the day, the little white perch. Look at that, uh, Morone Americana, son. When you are ready, when you are ready. Yeah, look at that, I uh, went right down there on the grass. Hopefully there's some trout left in this place though. Man, the current today is so fast that you have to reel very, very slow so that your spinner doesn't get on top of the water. Did you see that bite? We just had another bite here. I mean, they're definitely down there. It's all right, dude. EPF take good care of you. I reel slow. I'll reel slow just, just for you guys. Oh, yeah. So you see how slow that was? That was real slow, man. And there we have it. It is another white perch though not a different species or anything mm. now it makes me it makes me wonder right are these bites that we're getting down there all white perch and this white perch inhaled it three way which is hard to unhook right you have to kind of be careful with the angles so let me get this one out first boy 
when they swallow the treble hook three way you have to be very careful to not mangle the mouth of the fish right so there you have it we got our white perch right here very stunted just as the first one i just gotta throw it back right over here so and we also got a little dead fish over there that I don't know what it is. Looks like a little geezer shed. The Doro Soma Sepediano, huh? Interesting. Uh, this is really the type of environment that has a trout or two together with a white perch. So just have to continue catching these guys until something different really shows up. That's the key. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, well no trout yet, all white perch, apparently trillions of white perch down there. Okay, that may be a slight exaggeration, but uh, lots, lots of tiny white perch down there for sure. Man, I'm, I'm actually surprised, nothing new yet. This place usually has so many different species of fish and all of these white perch are so stunted too. All right, let's sink it all the way down. Come on, man. Whoa, I'm snagged. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Fish on, fish on. I was out and I got a fish. What did we got here? Dang, bro, it's just uh, another wiper, you know? Okay, folks, inline spinner has only been producing a single species today, the white perch. And none of them are actually big, so I think it is about time for me to switch lures. I think in this kind of situation, what is going to work extremely good is going to be the jig. So I'm going to use like a 164 ounce jig head with just a little gold minnow to see if anything else is going to show up. Ah, oh, let's see, maybe something different is going to show up. The water is actually pretty rough though. Oh man, oh I had a bite already. Fish on. Son, you have got to be kidding me. So this white perch is just everywhere. Is that what you were telling me? Even on the pink anisoptera comes another white perch, bro. Ay, ay, ay. This is supposed to be a multi-species fishing session. So far, I only got white perch to show you guys. This is no bueno, man. No bueno. Come on, one sunfish. Come on, one lepomis, one lepomis. Yes, one sunfish, come on, yes. Oh my goodness, white perch after white perch. Oh yes, we got a second species for this video. You know, you guys may think Leo is overreacting. No, I'm not overreacting, okay? I caught 12 white perch in a row. So to see this little green sunfish, the Lepomis cyanellus, is truly, truly a blessing. All right, let's take a shot of it. Easy boy, easy. I just wanted to take a shot of you. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, oh damn, bro. You see, he's saying right there, right now, this Asian, I'm gonna get him when he put his hand in here. Take it easy. Oh, easy, bro. I just want a shot, my man. Fact of the day, folks. The green sunfish is easily one of the most aggressive sunfish out there. No doubt. Hands down. It is super, super aggressive. I mean, right? <laughs> bro, this dude is just like super, super mean. And believe it or not, a lot of people have trouble identifying this species of fish. Just don't forget, right? It's got the red, the yellow, white on the fins here at the back of the fish. If you ever want to identify your fish properly, I get a lot of requests on Instagram of fish identification. And a lot of them turn out to be the green sunfish for some, for some reason, all right? So there you have it. All right, little green sunfish, you can go. Second species of the day, trout hasn't show up yet. I'm not so sure what I'm going to do now because there are way too many white perch down there. Wow, dude. Wow, dude. No, dude. You 
Pinnacle can't go away. You are the third species of the day, bro. Any other day, I would have let you go. But today, we need to take a shot of you because you're special. Holy cow, you guys see what that is? I mean, I'm sure if you watch the channel for, I mean, come on, man. Okay, I'll just give it away. It's a large mouth bass, okay? <laughs> it is the Micropterus salmoides, third species of the day. That's EPF for you, son. EPF catching toads since day one. Last video here on the YouTube channel, I call myself a 10 pounder. Remember that 10 pounder? Now, this one right here is a 15 pounder on the dot, bro. You know, 15 pounder on the dot. Let me release, <laughs> let me release this guy over here. Well, you know what? Despite sizes, at least we don't do it like Mike Long, right? We don't snag them, bro. So there you have it, right? This one was hooked, hooked right in the mouth right there. Look at that. Bang, bro. Go back and go eat those white perch to become a 10 pounder, bro. Brothers and sisters, this white perch don't know who they're messing with. I will catch every single one of them, if necessary, until I catch my trout. Hands down. Look at that. Another... Oh, wait! That's a new species for today! Yes! Ooh, bro! Weeding through the white perch. I thought it was another one of them, but no, it turns out to be the Pomoxis nigromaculatus. Yeah, the black crappie. But what I said is true though. I will go through every white perch in this spillway today just to catch my trout. I am that determined, folks. I am that determined. This particular species over here is so underrated, folks. It is so beautiful. Look at that pattern at the anal fin. Look at that, huh? That is crazy, isn't it? This is one of those species, man, that uh, people just don't appreciate enough. The black crappie. Ay, ay, ay. I didn't think that today I would have this much of a hard time just to do some multi-species fishing here at the Spillway. But you know what, man? This white perch, they want war. I will give them war. Oh, that's nicer. That's definitely nicer. What I got here, dude, that is, that, that's a trout, isn't it? That is a trout, isn't it? This is my dinner, isn't it? What, what we got here? What is that? Holy macaroni, bro. Now that is a white perch. That is a decent white perch. That's a, that, this size right here. I can take it back to my parents to kind of, you know, have, have a little bit of a fish fry, right? This size right here for over here, by far the biggest one of the day, yeah, I'm gonna take this one to it. Since you guys are calling war on me, white perch, if I catch a few more of these, we can have a fish fry. There's a nice one. That's a nicer one. Whatever, whatever this is, is a nicer one. Okay, what we got here? That's a nicer one. It's running to that side now. Oh my goodness, dude. What is it? Bro! That's another species for today. And it's my first bluegill of the day. But look at the size of this bluegill. Holy cow. And it is a beauty, too. I mean, besides this one little lesion here at the back... That's a beautiful bluegill that came out of this place. I guess my mom and my dad will have a mixed plate for dinner tonight. Kind of perch, crappie, bluegill, you know? Oh, white perch! Let me guess, it's another white perch. There's a plethora of white perch in here. Look at that. All the size and all of them is stunted. I mean, what, what are you gonna do, you know? With this much white perch around here, they have no chance but to be stunted, right? Look at that, barely any meat on them. The population is too high, so overall biomass 
is pretty high and there's not a lot of food for them to eat down there this war against the white perch today it, it saddens me to say this i'm starting to get tired here i'm getting a little bit of heat stroke i think at the end of the day i'll have to leave them biting <laughs> It's actually fascinating the number of white perch in here. Wow, that's another nice one, whatever it is. I think it's a big white perch. I'm not so sure, man. Holy macaroni, man. Or it is a crappie. It's a black crappie. Uh, actually, this size for black crappie for this place is not bad. Pennsylvania doesn't have a minimum size for black crappie. It is 50 a day, right? And crappie is one of my father's favorite species to eat. Not to mention that this one's got the mouth or mango. All mango now. So yeah, look, it's bleeding from the side. I think I'm going to take this one here for dinner for my parents. You know, nice little crappie. <laughs> oh boy. I thought that I was hot out here because I'm having a heat stroke and it is super hot. No wind, 90 degrees right now. But apparently my GoPro is having more of a heat stroke than I am. The camera that I'm using to film this right now has been turning off by itself due to high heat. Such that I had to put it in a shaded area, right, and cool it off a little bit for me to do this outro. But anyways, today's fishing session was super, super frustrating. Um, it really reminded me of something that happened during my childhood, you know. When EPF was a kid, I used to have a Game Boy Color, and one of my favorite games back in the days was Heroes of Might and Magic, right? Which is still ongoing for other consoles out there, by the way. I have it installed in my computer, Hero 6 and 7. And you know, it, it, it was a war game. I did mention something about a war in this video between EPF and the White Perch, right? That game was about war, and one funny thing about that specific game was that when you clicked on the enemy troops you didn't quite know right how big the troop was so when you clicked on the enemy troops in that game the game always gave you a word that defined how big the troops were so if you clicked on the enemy troops and said a few well you know you could go there with your troops and attack it without a problem right if it said lots well maybe you would have to think a little bit more before attacking and there was one word in particular that really exemplifies this fishing session it was plethora if you found uh, troops that said plethora maybe you would want to fortify your troops a little bit more before attacking those right and in particular this fishing session today you guys know epf always counts his fish i caught 60 white perch bro it is not just a few there in that spillway it's not lots it is a plethora there's a plethora of white perch in there okay I, I think i finished the day with five different species of fish thankfully and you know i left the white perch biting white perch moroni americana you win you win I, I can do it no more you know there's still a plethora of them down there and i don't know where they came from i don't know what they're doing in the spillway but that's it for me today i i'm gonna fish here <laughs> any longer so Oh man, the, the trout didn't really show up. I did bring a few white perch and a few black crappie for my parents to eat. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Tide Lines and take it easy. Bro, is this what I think it is, bro? Yo, this country needs some pandas, my man. This is, this is bamboo, right? Holy moly, bro. It's not just any bamboo. This is a, uh... oh yeah, this is good bamboo right here. Where are the pandas at? <laughs>